Good morning, everyone. It's been an early morning, and uh, we have our first winter snow of the season at the uh, at Welvin, the Log Hollow cabin. And uh, I'm just out in it. I was making my rounds earlier this morning, fed the chickens, and uh, decided to bring the iPad out and just sort of shoot a little bit of the dusting we've been getting. Got a little bit last night, and now we've got some more this morning. It's roughly 31 degrees, and so uh, it's coming down. I don't know if you can see it on the image, but uh, still a little bit of work to be done around the windows up there on the cabin, but um, I will actually do that on some clear days we have. I'm down to the uh, last itty bitty things and been working on the upstairs interior just to get it really ship shape for the spring um, and that's one reason why I haven't shot a lot of videos of it but one thing that you can see that happened during the night is that my little awning post and beam fell over my outdoor Christmas tree keeled over as well um, I'm gonna leave it there for now uh, but um, looks like the winds got to it and uh, yeah We've got a nice uh, bathing. You can see my footprints behind me there. My size 11s as I'm coming out of the woods that way. And it's kind of dark in there, so I couldn't shoot in there. But um, I am going to... Oh, it would be so nice to fire up the stove today. I plan on doing that. Just get a nice little burn going. Move the uh, wood stove... Uh, excuse me, the uh, grill out of the way. And, um, yeah, get a nice little fire going. It's a working property, so as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in the way. You can see my footprints. Yes, I did feed the chickens this morning. And, uh, oh my goodness, how could I not notice that the great old, ah, oh, the Chelsea flag was in the snow. Oh, I'll come back and remove it. But, um, yeah, this is what happened when it fell over last night. Um... I didn't have it fastened in place, I just had it sitting up there because I'm the only one here, so I knew where it was, but I should have it fastened. There's the kayak, in case of emergency evacuation. I can make it out of here by river, and uh, my solar panel is leaning up um, for now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make a walk and look back. Uh, I've been very impressed. We had 50 and 60 mile an hour winds over the last few days. And I am very impressed with how the cabin performed. It remained snug tight. It, uh, no issues with roofing coming off or anything. Everything held together very, very well. I am very, very uh, happy with a hand-built job. Um, you can see some snow piling up there. The next test is to see how it handles the weight of the snow. I think it should be fine. We engineered it to do that. Um, and I am looking forward to seeing, uh, well, the end results. Um, you know, my hope, just so you guys know, is that before I start showing you some of the other work uh, that's going on here on the property, uh, in terms of like the structural building work, I wanted to see how this cabin, this first one, oh, look at that guy. Flew right over my head. And it looks like a, oh, just diving into the river. You can't see that, but I could. Um, it's a blue heron um, that uh, just did that. But what I was saying was I want to see how the structure performs through one complete annual cycle. And um, it's important to get a feel for these things since I'm kind of hand building them all by myself, you know, with a little bit of help for the roof and, you know, things like that. But outside of that, uh, before I... Go gangbusters uh, saying, you know, here are the details of everything. I want to make sure it holds up in all the ways that it must. Uh, it's just me, the way I do things. But uh, anyway, uh, you can see it coming down pretty good. And we're supposed to have quite a bit of it coming down. So I'm going to be having a quite a bit of fun either shoveling my way out or, um, as I like to say, uh, oh, you know what I have to do is I have to go get... Uh, the keys so that I could move the truck uh, onto the hard uh, gravel uh, path 
and the reason is that it's now sitting in the muddy stuff and I don't want uh, it to get soupy once I try to start it because I'll have to head out to the library a little bit later today. Um, it is amazing, you guys, seeing the wildlife out here and this stuff. I was out last night um, watching uh, just all kinds of critters um, come through and move around. Uh, a few elk, a few deer. I surprisingly saw a porcupine, and I don't know what that was about, but it was crossing the road, coming onto the property, and I just sort of looked. Um, but I guess the snow uh, just makes everything a lot more visible, and uh, you can see the truck there. And Oh, by the way, a little progress on the little bridge I made. You guys remember in an old video I talked about using... Uh, rocks from the railroad right-of-way or the steam train right-of-way to create this little bridge Well, I've done so. I've got a little birdie Chirping at me. Oh, I can see it. Oh, you can't see it. It's in the woods Hi little guy Taking refuge from the snow, but me coming has kind of alarmed him a little bit Okay, let me get through here um, And let them sort of have their space uh but what I was saying about the uh, gravel bridge is that it has also performed very, very well. And so far, I have to give all the structures that uh, I've created some pretty good thumbs up. And I'm not giving it thumbs up as in taking credit for myself, but just to say that they've held up. The decision making has been right on. Uh, this is what I mean by I'm a, a bit of the mud. So when I go to drive out, I want to make sure that I advance the truck out to this area where underneath it, we actually have some good gravel aggregate uh, instead of the mud. Um, the other thing that I have done is that I have put up a entry sign announcing the forest property. Um, you guys remember that I had put up these guys a while back. Well, I have put up the official, well, I made them myself, but, uh, LHF. And of course, today you're not going to be able to see it very well, just because, uh, this way goes out that way, and I'm not going to go there right now, and, uh, let's see. Sorry guys, I'm bringing you along on my walk, but this is what I do, I kind of check everything, um, every morning. It's part of my routine. If you live off grid, you should check these things. Um, make sure nothing is blocking the culverts, anything that would create uh, flooding. Uh, this is the state highway uh, that comes through. And let's see what's down that way. Can't really see anything down that way. Oh, here comes a truck. Let me get out of the way. Actually, it's a car, not a truck. I will cross over into the side another time. Um, I just want to want to go over and uh, do a couple of things. Anyway, enough with the morning walk. Thanks for uh, coming along with me on the first snowy morning, and y'all take good care.